can get with this, cause this is where it's at. You can get with this, or you can get with that. You can get with this, or you can get with that. What's up, everyone? Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for joining. We are here, we are here, we are here, we are back. Do another reaction to the police. Roxanne. And as always, I can't do that without the crew. Hollywood DA, what's going on, brother? Not much, man. I'm ready to jump into this. I really, I was like, I know a song, but I don't know a song. I, I don't mm -hmm. For real, if it weren't for Eddie Murphy, I wouldn't know shit about the song. That's so, right. That's about yeah, 48 it. 48 hours, yeah, right? Yeah, I was locked up. Yeah, 48 you know hours, yeah. Besides that, I really don't know nothing about the song. Oh, so, it was it okay. was it another? I thought it was another forty eight hours. No, it was the first. One. Oh, was the first one? Yeah, I can't remember. Locked up. And he came yeah. One of the forty eight. That's right. That was the first one. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was the first one. Yeah, Phenom two hundred two. What say you? Phenom two hundred two. D Day representative. Yo, man, I didn't know the song was written by Sting while oh. he was watching uh, the Women of the Night in Paris, France. Yo. <laughs> wow, I'm learning that myself. Yeah, Didn't yeah. know that. Okay, yeah. man. But I, I don't know. I don't know anything else about the song. I just know the hook. I don't know the new lyrics, but I'm interested, yo. That's why we do the channel, yo, so we can get reacclimated to the stuff we've heard before, kind of heard, but don't know really nothing about, yo. Yeah, same here. I mean, I know of the song, um, but I don't know the lyrics. I just know that that really rock sand part because you heard me singing at the beginning but i really am going to look at the lyrics this time and really try to understand what this song is about and i'm really excited about it man sting is uh i mean he, i didn't even know sting originally came from the police so hey it's one of those things i'm learning more every day so um here we go man you guys ready all right man let's do it in three two one go Okay, 
I really took a moment to listen to the lyrics and I learned so much about this song. I had no idea. I had no idea that he was talking about, of course, Roxanne. Roxanne works the streets and he doesn't want Roxanne to work the streets anymore. Um, it seems like probably it, it clearly because he loves her or he's into her. He don't want her with nobody else. I had no idea, but I'm curious. I'm curious if he met Roxanne on the streets and then he fell in love with her and now he don't want her to do the streets no more. I'm kind of curious how that came out. And I don't understand what is put on the red light. I, I don't know what that means. Red light district, yo, back in the, you know. Oh, you know, my God. The red light district. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, when the light, red lights come on. Okay, mind blown. I because the whole time I'm listening to this song, I'm like put on the red light, put on the red light. I don't know what that is, but now I get it. Red light district. Wow. Mm, good one. Okay, man. Phenom Two Two. What say you? Yo, I actually love the song, yo. Now yeah, I already like the beat already because I mean, the beat the beat sticks out. But yeah. this is the first time I got to dive into the lyrics, mm -hmm. and this song is basically a Captain Captain Save a whole song, yo. That's what it is, yeah, sure. yeah. knows. And yeah. now I'm sitting there thinking, staying in some strip clubs, oh, baby, you ain't got to do this no more. You know, mm -hmm. you know why are you in this place, yo? Just, just come with me, yo. You know what I'm saying? I'll save you. i take you out of this, show you a life. That's exactly what he sound like, yo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's exactly um, what it yo, is. It's it is musicians, yo, know, they love like porn stars and strippers and everything. Like even from back in the day, like all the rock and roll people was marrying porn stars. Mm -hmm. to, mm -hmm. to today, you got like motherfuckers like Zion and Drake wiped up a, a well, uh, uh, got a dropped a baby in a in a semi porn star. Or I can't even call it porn star. She did porn though. No, like you know what I mean? Like yeah, I don't a know porn participant. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but uh, <laughs> but these dudes <laughs> and, and the, the porn, you know. Between the porn or, or the strippers, or you know, what I mean, porn or the strippers, mm -hmm. yo. I mean, because yeah. nowadays, of course, uh, you know, you ain't no pick up a joint just walking down the street, but yo, know, the strippers, they, they do them private parties. Guess what? they're doing all the same things the girls who walk the street do, they just get a little bit more money, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, and they but, a lot more personal. Well, yeah. well, yeah, they do basically the same thing, man, and um, they be working, they be working. Cause they be scooping these dudes up. I mean, yeah. it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. They be scooping wow. them up, man. I mean, look. I mean, look. Um, it's a pretty woman type situation. The movie, like Pretty Woman, you know, like it's yeah. it's it, which is I didn't see that movie until four or five years ago. My wife told me about it, and I was like, all right, I give it a watch. It's not actually a bad movie. Um, but this is like a Pretty Woman type situation. I think he'd have picked the woman up on the street. It turned from a one night situation to eventually starts liking her. Yeah, and he want to get her off the streets, man. But um, he ain't got Richard Gear money though. Nah, nah. Yeah. But it's funny though. We saw the uh, we went to L.A. We saw the Pretty Woman Hotel, yo, in Beverly Hills, yo. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, we're like, oh, that's a Pretty Woman was filmed. Yo, it ain't nothing to look look at though. That's right. You, that's right. When we were out of L.A., you showed me that. I completely forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is a great song, man. I really enjoyed this song. I listened to it its entirety. I love it. The beat, the even the way Sting is singing it. I, I gotta, I gotta give it up, man. Um. I'm learning so much, man. I, I didn't know that he was the police was Sting until probably not too long ago. So and that's um, how I found out about him. But um, mm -hmm. you you digging this shit, Ollie? No, yeah, I enjoyed the song, man. I like the the little guitar. Uh, I ain't gonna call it riff. I don't know what to call it. Like the the beat, the dur, 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 melody. You know what I mean? Yeah, the melody. Mm -hmm. And I mean, the song's good though. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to uh, Sting and the police, all of them. Well, not not yeah, the man. police. Song that that melody was simple but effective. It's it's catchy. It's great too. That's how we yeah, do around here. Look, ACAB, we're gonna man. we're gonna close this out, man. If anybody out there has any other oh, songs from the police canceled. or the thing, <laughs> y'all let us know, man. We really like to get into it. Hearing this song, Roxanne, man, it really is piquing my interest here. So I want to keep going down that catalog of the police or Sting or any other people in that uh, wheelhouse. You guys let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel as we're reaching our way to 50K. I'm Corey Roy. That's Hollywood DA, Phenom 202. We'll be back at you with another reaction. Yeah, back Peace. to Boys in Blue, yo. Yep, yep. <laughs> What's the Boys in Blue? I don't get it. Oh, the police. Ah! Ah, okay, there you go. That's, that's one of them... Um... <laughs> Remember that like a
I needed one of them. Um, rim, I was, rim shot. I was trying to yeah, say the rim I was shot. trying to say the video. Yeah, this, video. this is where it's at. You can get with this, or you can get with that. You can get with this, or you can get with that.